Hey friends, it's Miss Grace and I am back for another little video for you. It's been a couple of weeks, but that's because we have been busy um, with VBS. And so I hope you've been able to watch those videos and that you can enjoy this one too. So for today's video, if you want to participate, maybe ask your parents or go make one for yourself. You need a snack for this video. And then if you also want to follow along, you can grab your Bible. So our story today is from Matthew chapter 7. It's about the Sermon on the Mount. So you might guess it's Jesus' sermon when he's on a mountain. And so this is one of Jesus' longest sermons that he ever gives. And it's full of lots of important things for our lives. One of the most important things that he teaches in this sermon is about prayer. Our Bible point for today is that Jesus hears our prayers. So I want you to think about someone that you love to listen to. Maybe it's someone who has a really nice voice, someone who's really funny. Think about that. Who do you love to listen to? Did you say it? For me, I really like to listen to Morgan Freeman. I think he has a really nice voice. <laughs> well, God loves to listen to us. Even though sometimes we're sad or angry or complaining, God loves to listen to our prayers. Let's talk with God right now. Dear Jesus, thank you that you love us and you love to listen to us and you hear our prayers. Be with us as we learn more about you. So I have a hilarious joke to share with you, but I'll only tell you if you ask me a whole lot of times. So go ahead, ask me, ask me to tell you the joke. Ask me again. Come on, keep asking. <laughs> okay, I think you've asked enough times. I'll tell you the joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Okay, Ach. <laughs> Did you say it? Did you say Achu? <laughs> God bless you. Do you need a tissue? <laughs> so you had to ask me a lot of times to get me to tell you the joke. Now, let me read you something that Jesus said about asking God for help. This is in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 7. He says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Why do you think Jesus had to keep on asking, seeking, and knocking? Hmm, talk about that together. How do you think asking God for something is different than asking me to tell you a joke? Are they the same? Are they a little bit different? Talk about that together. Jesus wasn't saying that God is like this magic genie, that if you ask him enough times, you'll get whatever you want. But he was making the point that God hears our prayers and he always answers them. Maybe not in the way that we would like. Sometimes his answer is yes. Sometimes his answer is no. And sometimes his answer is you just need to wait. But God does hear our prayers and he answers them. So let's try what Jesus said. First, he said to ask. So think of something that you would like God to do and let's take a little bit of time to ask him. Jesus also said to seek. So while you're thinking about maybe you wanna seek something in your life, like more peace, maybe you want to be patient or more loving, I want you to put your hands up to your eyes like binoculars, like you're seeking for them while you ask God to help you with whatever you're seeking in your life. Did you do it? The last thing that Jesus says is to knock. So while we're asking to, uh, while we're asking God for something, maybe you can knock quietly on a table or on a wall while you ask God for something. Let's do that now. God hears our prayers because He's our friend. He cares about what we're asking for. When we're asking, seeking, and knocking, he wants to hear our hearts, and he responds with good gifts. Well, let's celebrate with a snack. 
if your parents made you a snack, maybe you can pause the video and go get it, or maybe you can grab one for yourself. And since we're talking about the good gifts that God gives us, I wrapped my snack box up in some wrapping paper. So let's see what kind of a snack I have. Ooh, it's a loud snack. Let's see. Wait a minute. Rocks? I don't think that would be a very good snack. Hmm. Do you know there's actually a verse in the Bible that's kind of like this? It's still in Matthew chapter 7. Jesus says, Which of you, if your son asks for a bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for fish, will give him a snake? If you know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? I bet your parents didn't make you rocks for a snack. And God loves you, if you can imagine, even more than your parents do. And so God wants to give us good gifts. While you're eating your snack, I want to show you a video of all the times, well, not all of them, but of some of the times in the Bible where God answers people's prayers. As you watch it, think about which one was the most amazing to you. God hears our prayers. Throughout the Bible, God heard people talking to him. God heard Joshua and the Israelites shout out to him as they marched around the city of Jericho. And God knocked down the wall so they could get in. God cares about the problems in your life too. Shout out, God help us. God heard Hannah pray for a baby. A year later, she had a baby named Samuel. Pray silently for a baby you know. David prayed all the time and God heard his prayers. When David had to fight against a giant, God heard his prayers and helped David win. Picture something that feels giant in your life. God cares about that. When Elijah had a contest to prove God is real and fake gods aren't, he prayed for God to light his altar on fire, and God heard his prayer. God sent fire from heaven. Repeat this prayer. God, I know you are real. Help my friends know you are real. In Jesus' name, Amen. When Nehemiah needed to rebuild a wall around his city, he asked God for help. God provided supplies and protected the people from enemies. They built the wall in 52 days. What is something that's hard for you to do? Ask God for help with that. Talk with him silently right now. Daniel prayed so much, he got in trouble for it. When he was thrown into a lion's den, it seemed like he was a goner. But God protected Daniel so he could keep on praying. What's something that scares you? Talk silently with God about that right now. When Paul and Silas were in jail, they kept on singing and praying to God. God heard their prayers. He sent an earthquake to set them free. 
Thank God for answering your prayers like he answered Paul and Silas's prayers. Shout, thank you, God. All through the Bible, God heard prayers, and God hears our prayers today, too. Which of those examples was the most amazing to you about the way that God answered prayers? All throughout the Bible, God hears people's prayers. Over thousands of years, God hear, heard the people's prayers, and he hears our prayers today, too. That makes me want to sing. So let's sing Pray About Everything. Today we've been learning that Jesus says if we ask God for good gifts, we will receive. So listen to this verse. It's from Psalm chapter 37, verse 4. It says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. What does this verse mean to you? When the Bible says that if we delight ourselves in the Lord, he will give us the desires of our heart. It makes me think, why doesn't God always give us what we ask for? Let's dig into that a little bit. Think about a time where maybe you asked God for something and he didn't give it to you. Share that together. Just because God doesn't always say yes, doesn't mean that we should give up praying. It might just mean that we need to think differently about prayer. Sometimes prayer is asking God to do something, but sometimes prayer ends up changing us. Let's try this in action. So if you have two people, one person, I want you to keep asking for something. It could be for a snack. It could be for a new video game. I want you to just keep asking for something from the other person. Now the other person, I want you to ask questions to try to get to know the other person. Ask them things like, what's your favorite color? What did you do today? What do you want to be when you grow up? Now, pause the video and do that, and then we'll talk about how it went. Was that strange? Talk about that. Both people, how did you feel during this conversation? If you kept on asking for something, maybe you were disappointed that the other person didn't give it to you. But if you were asking questions to get to know the other person, you might be disappointed that they weren't answering your questions 
all they really cared about was getting what they wanted. I think sometimes prayer can be like that. We keep asking God for things, and He wants to get to know us and to develop a relationship with us. So remember, prayer is not always just about asking God for things, but knowing who God is. Together, talk about this. What's something that you talk to your friends about, but you've never thought to ask God about? Hmm. How do you think it would feel if you asked God about those things? Let's play a game called Ships and Sailors, because we've been learning about how God listens to our prayers and we should listen to him. So this is a listening game to try to get it right. So first I'll tell you how it works. When I say the word aft, that means you should run backwards, like to the back of the ship. And whenever I say bow, I want you to run forwards. Whenever I say port, I want you to run to the right side. And whenever I say starboard, I want you to run to the left. Okay, let's go over that one more time. Aft is backwards. Bow is forwards. Port is left. Starboard is right. Okay, do you got it? I might call in some other instructions for you to do. So you ready? Port. Starboard. Bow. Aft. Bow. Aft. Port. Starboard. Now I want you to raise the anchor. I want you to swab the deck. Port. Starboard. Now get together like you're eating. Now bow. Okay, I think you've done enough listening. Were you able to get all the instructions? Whew, I'm tired just thinking about you guys doing that. <laughs> what did you have to do to make sure that you heard me telling you those instructions? You had to listen, right? And when you were busy doing all the different things I asked you to do, it might have been hard for you to hear what I asked you to do next. Sometimes we can be busy in our lives and it's hard for us to hear from God but God is never too busy to pay attention to us. He always hears our prayers. So since we've talked so much about prayer, let's pray again together now. Share your prayer requests with your family, and then let's pray. Dear God, I pray for all the prayer requests that have been given. I pray for healing, for safety, for peace. I pray for the troubles that are facing our nation, that you would bring us peace and help us to stand up for others. I know that you give us good gifts, God, and even if you don't answer our prayers in the way that we ask, we know that you are there with us. In your name we pray, amen. I have a take-home sheet attached to this video that your parents can do with you, and until then, I'll see you guys next week.